Hello and uh, welcome to episode 18 of uh, Let's Play uh, Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. So, uh, well, we don't have many left to actually uh, do our loyalty missions with. I believe it's uh, Saeed and. Uh, yeah, Saeed and Jacob is left. But uh, before we do that, let's uh, see what uh, Joker have to say up in the cockpit here. Hey, Commander. Glad we figured out Jack is crazy, because that was really up in the air, just hanging there. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Yeah, that's a bug, because... Uh, uh, before he even says that, uh, you're supposed to have a That's conversation with him. See you, Commander. Uh, about uh, silencing uh, ED. And uh, you say, well, I'm sure she has a mute button. And uh, Got some pressure loss in the number four hydrogen tank. Lock it down, ED. <laughs> yeah, after that, uh, you... Uh, Tell Joker what uh, you used the mute button or something like that. I, it was a long time ago I heard that conversation, but uh, it is something like that. And the rest of the conversation you have on him, but he says, uh, "Well, I fractured my thumb on the mute button, but I think I got my point out." Uh, yeah. Anyhow, uh, so who was? Next, it was uh, Jacob, so let's uh, do Jacob's quest, which, uh, if I remember correctly, is uh, kind of long. I don't remember how long it is, though. Let's uh, scan a few planets here. Actually, I don't need to do that. I have so much uh, crap anyways. So, let's... Uh, head over here. Anomaly detected. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration B double. Probe away. I have found something. Go. Land. And uh, who should we take with us? I don't think I have taken Fane with with me yet. So actually, I have. Uh, I definitely taken her with me. Yeah, I think I taken everyone with us. So let's take uh, Fan. Uh, with us, main not fan. All right, and uh, what he has the Oops, the wrong sniper rifle. Let's, uh, that's the right one, and uh. Actually, he can use that one. Because he doesn't need to worry about ammunition. I 
have run a scan of the ship. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. Beautiful planet. Um, there it uh, is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Hmm. I thought to say a frigate. That thing is huge. But I don't know how much of it is done on the water, but from there, actually, it's not that big. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with this anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it Well, something strange is going on here. Those logs are a bit, uh... Repeat, oh. toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically ink... From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. 
It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. I doubt that ship carried ten years worth of food. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The Hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been spotted. Yeah. Right between the eyes! Neural decay doesn't quite cover the reality of it. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. They have the same uniform as our attackers. Definitely not as aggressive, though. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the female on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to... Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. <laughs> he keeps us. Protects us. And we please him like he demands. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Subdue and suppress. I see you. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons 
What the fuck? Yeah! Even Terminus pirate clans rarely kill their own crew to enforce discipline. Well, that would make them hate him. Or maybe it was just for def Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material, and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle, or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week about a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Whoa. really him. The post corpse looks like it's been here years, like a warning. These others, maybe a month. The hunters started fighting back. Look ahead. <clears throat> Yeah. 
He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. See if there's anything else here we can pick up before we continue. What's that? Oh, just cash. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. <sighs> we face hostile drones. One falls, one falls. That was a big explosion. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. have anything here. Oh, nothing useful. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! 
Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. There we go. So that's Jacob's side quest. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. 
Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on. We've got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. All right, there we go. So that's Jacob's mission. See, did I pick up anything useful? Biotic damage, yes. And uh, anything else? Biotic cooldown. And uh, subject zero biotic boot. Jack received twenty. Oh wow! Twenty percent biotic damage. Uh no! Who <laughs> I'm bringing on the next mission? I want to see that in action. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, uh, Cerberus Intel. Uh, huh. All right, I'll pause if you want to read. So, um, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, let's uh, go down and talk to uh, Tally. Our romance going. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick. Jeopardize the mission. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I, I I wouldn't blame you if, but, oh, thank you. You don't know what that, thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. Captain's orders. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. Yes, definitely. Until then I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love that. Uh, uh, combat. See, I 
see. There we go. Uh, let's see if Morden has anything to say to us. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul. Replaced by tech, whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves, tools for reapers. Protheans dead, collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the collectors. Enjoyed challenge, saw necessity of attack on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just commit it now. Won't let you down. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. <sighs> what is it about the collector's modification that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short-sighted. Foolish. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Yeah. No messages for you, Commander. All right, so, uh, let's, uh... the next mission which uh, will be the last of uh, our missions
Fire Walk. Jack. That reminds me. Why? Huh. Oh, that armor doesn't have the scars. Nice. Alright. Add you. And, uh... Wow, two more levels. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. There we go. I'm gonna die by sniper rifle, then. Uh... Reinforcements incoming. We got your backs. Sector cover. Hello, dead. Oh crap! Good shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, damn it. What do I get up there? I haven't done this for a while, so I honestly can't remember how to actually get up there. this this is commander santiago if any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive i'll kill you myself now get the hell back out there Vito. sounds like he hasn't changed i get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. i knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the blue suns the sun's only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. <laughs> We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Okay, so... We... God damn, it's loud. Sorry about that. So, we got the sh uh, choice here. Uh, what we can do is... Uh, uh, we can go off to Santiago after a certain thing happens. Or we can save the people. Now, considering my uh, Paragon level is completely full, I am actually considering going Renegade here. And, uh... Uh, what should I call it? 
uh, and take the renegade choice here. And well, you will see the reason why. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I want to know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. So what you can do here is uh, go the Paragon level way, but uh, Vita will uh, will Help! survive. We're trapped. We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off. The whole place is gonna blow. No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Vito's wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smart. We stop to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! Help! No! Use this. I need cover. <laughs> Trouble is <coughs> coming. Crap. Oh, I stood in the fire. 
Yeah. this. Anyone else want some? This should come in handy. Done. Oh, that's... Oh, it's, uh... I don't need that. Taking cover! Yeah. Come back! Collector particle beam, there it is. I'll bring this place down around you. Hostiles incoming.
Bunch of money, nothing else. All right, well, let's uh, keep on moving. Oh, that's nothing there. Please, you know it was nothing personal, just business, I swear. It was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Saeed, please! I'm gonna die here, man! Do something! Try, you son of a bitch. Oh, boy. That's actually the first time I do this quest uh, that way. Holy crap. That That's dark. I'm not going to lie. Let's see here. So, yeah, as you can see, my Renegade has gone up a bit, but my uh, Paragon is uh, still maximum. And uh, so... Disruptor ammo or prior ammo. I'm going with disruptor this time. And this ammunition. Uh, hey, uh, uh, synthetics to critically overload and explode. <coughs> Lost until overridden by uh, other ammunition. And uh, I can select it uh, so the entire squad had this uh, ammunition, but uh, uh, it does 20% uh, uh, less damage. So, yeah, I'm choosing the squad auction there. Commander, you. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. 
Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. All right. On red message. All right, so this is from uh, Jacob's side mission. Uh, feel free to uh, pause and uh, read it. Got the assault rifle upgrade to level four, which is nice. Uh, all right, let's uh, uh, have a word with Said. What he has to say. Back for more? Can't say I blame Taylor's pup. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. I appreciate what you did down there. Might not seem like it, but you did the right thing. Killing Vito solves a lot of problems, and not just my own. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right. So, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea, uh, because he is actually... Uh, normally talking about video in Mass Effect 3 and uh, yeah uh, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens with that conversation now when he's dead <laughs> Shepard what can I do for you have you got time to talk for you of course I can't tell you how much what you said means to me but I understand if you need to find something someone else not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine. To share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. All right, so, uh, not sure if uh, our doctor here has anything to say about uh, romance and talent now. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous, different species react differently to stress. Past relationship with Talizora makes dalliance attractive as stress release. Still, recommend caution. Quarry an immune system weak could kill her. Tally is important to me. I wouldn't be doing this if she didn't want it too. Of course, no offense intended. We'll be here to provide treatment as necessary. Minimize risk. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Tali Zora acquired antiseptic. Recommend you self-sterilize as well. Oral contact with tissue dangerous. Take precautions. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Wow, did he just uh, <laughs> recommend porn? <laughs> You know, this is why I like more than he's like. Uh, he he he's not shy. <laughs> that's for sure. 
Uh... Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust, would never dream of mockery. <laughs> Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. And the way he actually says that, and uh, with that slight smile on his face, it's actually very hard to take him serious. Like, uh, yeah, did you just yank my chain again? Like, yeah, you can only like Moradin. He's such an awesome character. Okay, uh, nothing there, and the rest is grey. Alright, but, uh, an hour and 12 minutes. Let's see if, uh, I don't think Joker has anything else to say. He's probably just going to repeat himself about uh, the mute button and all that. But uh, let's see if he got anything to say here. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. Uh, yeah. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, so... Edie, we've got venting. What did you say? Did you, we got wet things, something, something? <laughs> all right, well, uh... I'm no going to call... You, Commander. I did not hear what he was saying. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Alright, so... Uh... Alright, there we are. So, uh, I do want to thank you all for uh, watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, especially uh, me going a bit renegade on this uh, last mission. That was dark. Holy shit. First you leave those civilians there to burn and uh, then he literally like uh, causes some sort of a grenade that made his uh, arch enemy burn. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I got a bit of goosebumps there. That's for sure. Uh, anyhow. Uh, if you're new here, uh, first of all, welcome. And uh, if you enjoy my content, then uh, feel free to uh, hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell. So you don't miss out on any more of my content. I will be back again tomorrow. And until then, stay safe out there.